Okay, here we are back inside of Capture One Twenty Two. Uh, another quick tutorial on how I like to create um, different adjustment brushes and save different adjustment brushes within Capture One um, within their layers system. I'm sure there's several ways to go about doing this, but this is the way that I've been doing it for a while now over quite a few different versions of Capture One. Um, I think they've actually added a style brush feature now, um, but I'll show you um, the way I do it. Uh, it's probably the slow manual way, but uh, it, it works for me. And uh, once you get used to it, uh, it, it makes um, editing a lot easier. Um, Okay, so come across to the Layers tab uh, over here. Um, that's the way I have it set up at least. I'm um, using this image as an example because it was one of the few images that I actually had um, that had the model model's eyes open, uh, makeup done nicely, and a uh, nice big wide smile. Um, and you'll see why I needed that in a moment. So basically the layers that you add onto an image uh, inside Capture One, the way I, in my workflow, it's pretty much the last, the last stage, unless of course I have to come in here and create a, uh, a heel layer or a, uh, a clone layer and remove something from the image that's really distracting before I go ahead and edit it. Um, but for this tutorial, we're gonna be looking at just basic adjustment layers and how to create uh, basically style brushes out of those out of those layers and save the style brushes so that you can use them on other images in the future. So I'm going to jump right in and uh, this image by the way is, is pretty much good to go, it's done, it's edited. Um, we're just going to use it as an example for these style brushes. So the first thing you want to do is you want to create a new adjustment layer and then you need to decide what you actually want to adjust or what you want to um, save as a brush. So for the purpose of this, I'm going to say that I want a uh, eyebrow or eyelash darkening brush and I want to have that available for other images. So what I would, I'm going to then make some assumptions about what I want to change or what I want to have happen with this brush to darken eyebrows and eyelashes and I'm going to say that we want to Bring the under the exposure tab. Bring the brightness down by. Uh, I'm really just guessing at these ten, um, and uh, maybe we'll bump the contrast up by five. And maybe bring the exposure down. Probably not too much. By point one, um, and that should pretty much do us. So let's see what the effect actually does. Let's paint paint this effect. Um, onto our image now. Let's zoom in a little bit here. And I'm just going to adjust, right click to adjust my brush settings. One about the size of our eyebrows. And let's just see what effect we're getting here. Yeah, okay. That's a nice subtle effect. Um, paint it all the way onto the eyebrows. Obviously, if I was doing this for real, I wouldn't let it bleed off under the skin. Uh, or if I did, I'd come back in and, and just clean that up. But yeah, that's that's pretty much the effect that I want. Let's turn it on and off to see the difference. Off and on, off and on. Uh, and yeah, that's that's pretty much what I want for a basic eyebrow darkening. Now, if you if you wanted to, you can take that further. You can come back in here and adjust more settings. So we could do something like. Um, Come in and adjust the sharpening, or probably better yet, let's go in and adjust the clarity. Now I'm going to bump this up quite a bit to, to make a point so you can actually see the changes. So let's bump up, actually, let's take that even further. Not that I would ever be this heavy handed. And let's, um, uh, let's right click clear mask and let's paint that on again and see what happens. Now this should add quite a bit more definition to. The eyebrow you can see it's a far more dramatic effect because we've gone in and bumped up the clarity in the structure uh, maybe you want that maybe you don't 
you could maybe even adjust uh, sharpening instead or as well as. Um, let's turn the layer on and off now. You can see it's a far more dramatic effect. And remember, you've got the option of when you right click and adjust your brush settings, you can adjust your opacity, the opacity of the effect within the brush, or once you've applied a brush at full opacity, you can come back over to your adjustment layer and reduce the opacity of that particular layer. That's probably what I what I do sooner than adjusting the opacity of the brush head. Now, I'm happy with that and I want to save that as a particular brush so that I can I have future use over it. So my, my eyebrow brush basically. Let's um, just clear the mask from this image. Now all of the settings, even though I've cleared the mask, all the settings are still um, still in place down here for that particular adjustment layer. I just haven't painted it on or I've removed uh, my painting on the image. I'm going to come up to the three dots up here and I am going to save the adjustments as a style. So let's click on that. Now you can see all the things that we changed about within that adjustment layer are now ticked. Exposure, contrast, brightness, the clarity and the structure. I'm going to click save and I'm going to save it as um, I, all caps, just for the purpose of this, and spell properly, eyebrow, brush, co-style, select save. Okay, so let's pretend we were starting from scratch again. We have our image, no layers at all, nothing has been adjusted down here and I want to bring that eyebrow brush, that eyebrow pencil in. So what I'm going to do this time is I'm going to not do that. I am going to add a new adjustment layer. I'm going to call it eyebrows, right? And at the moment, it's not going to adjust anything because I haven't tinkered with any of these settings. I haven't applied anything. So if I brush it on, Right, press M, you can see my mask, press it off, nothing's happening. Not gonna be any changes, okay? Nothing's been adjusted about this adjustment layer. So turn that mask on again, you can see what I've done. Nothing's happening, okay. Let's clear the mask this time. Now I'm gonna apply that particular set of settings for the eyebrow pencil brush that I just saved by right clicking, apply adjustments from, custom styles and we're going to find right down the bottom here eyebrow brush right now I've applied those settings to that particular layer I've got and you can see if you come down exposure all the adjustments that we made previously and saved have now been applied to this brush right so if I come across my image and I start brushing that on I'm going to use a really heavy-handed big brush so you can see the changes right mask is on turn the mask off you can see that those changes are taking effect. So let's zoom in. If I turn that off, right, layer off, layer on, you can see that it's applied and brushed on all of those effects that we had saved as that brush. So I'm going to clear that. Now I'm going to quickly show you a couple of other applications, not that she needs it, but I'll show you um, a couple of other handy ones to have. Right, let's, let's delete that, start from scratch, figure out a clean image here. Um, would be potentially a teeth whitening brush. So let's create a adjustment layer, teeth whitening, right. Let's reduce saturation by maybe 50. Um, let's increase brightness by five. Um, and maybe you wanna increase exposure as well. I think mainly teeth whitening is, is predominantly gonna be saturation, so let's Bring it down to negative 60. Press B. Let's test the brush out. Don't know how much of an effect it will have on her brilliant white teeth, but we'll test it anyway. There you go. Again, this is me being very sloppy. If I was doing it properly, I'd, I'd go in and make sure it wasn't bleeding off into the gums. Let's turn the layer off. Right, original, layer on. Yeah, pretty happy with that. That's At least it's had the effect that I wanted it to have on the teeth. So. Let's clear that, remove the, the painted portion from the image, 
again, all of our settings are still here, all the settings, all the changes that we made that we're happy with, three dots. Uh, what am I going to? Um, save adjustments as style. Yep, those are the adjustments that I made to that, to that particular brush. Let's save it and let's save it as tooth brush. Save. Right. Let me just show you, actually. Let's go to this other image of our model, right? This is a completely different image. No adjustments have been made. Say I want to take that toothbrush adjustment over to another image, right? Come into this other image. I would create an empty adjustment layer. Now I like to name all my layers. Let's call this one teeth whitening. I hope that's spelled correctly. And like I said, if I brush that on now, nothing's gonna happen. Press M, you can see where I've brushed. Nothing's happening because there's no adjustments applied to that adjustment layer. Let's clear that mask. Right, right click, apply adjustments from, custom styles all the way down to the bottom, toothbrush. Now that is gonna apply all of those adjustments that we made to that layer that we created in the other image to this layer that we have in this image. Press B. Now let's go wild. I'll show you what it looks like if I start just to prove that they have actually transferred. If I start painting that on all over the place, you can see that it's going to apply those adjustments that we've made down here specific for teeth whitening. Now let's clear that. Zoom in. Uh, make the brush a little smaller. And Increase the hardness, one nice hard line, and you can see when I paint it on accurately that it does make a nice big difference to our uh, model's teeth. Not that there was ever anything wrong with her teeth in the first place, but it is all of these small adjustments that you make to images that will really make your images stand out. And as I said, all within the layers tool in Capture One Pro. Uh, and that's it. You don't have to just be confined to things like um, eyebrows and teeth. You could go in and uh, create a, uh, maybe you just want to create a, a, a burn tool or a dodge tool. Um, so burn, obviously darken portions of the image and dodge um, brighten portions of the image. And that might be, something as simple as just increasing the exposure up or down. Um, but saving these brushes and the adjustments that you make to them is really, really handy when you want to make a very specific adjustment, as in you're going into each tool tab and making very specific adjustments so that you don't have to then create those adjustments all over again for every separate image that you edit. Um, and that's it. If you have any questions, please uh, pop a comment below. Um, otherwise, um, I hope you've enjoyed the tutorial. Thank you.